everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear and I have two machines, a new favorite and an old favorite here to take a look at. I've got the Diletta Bello and the Rocket Espresso Apartamento. Um, we're gonna do a crew comparison between these two machines. Uh, it's a fun one because they look pretty similar when you see them on a counter, but actually when you get into it, they have a lot of little differences that you might find will make you more interested in one over the other. So it should be a good one. Um, let's get started talking a little bit about the features of these machines. So these are both going to be heat exchanger machines, which means that they're going to perform quite similarly. Um, that means that they have a boiler with uh, a heat exchanger tube inside of it, and as water moves through the exchanger tube, it heats up and, um, and you can basically do steaming and brewing at the same time, to put it simply. Um, that also means that uh, you're not gonna have to do as much pausing between steaming and then letting the boiler, boiler come back to a certain temp to do your brewing. You can just do them both at once, which is really nice. These are both also E61 group head machines, which means that they have heated groups that also heat the portafilter. So this is a really nice feature that improves the temperature consistency from the boiler, through the group, through the portafilter, through the coffee itself, the most important part, and then into your cup. So you're gonna get that with both of these, uh, which is really nice. And like I said, you're gonna get some pretty similar tasting shots between the two of them, but they do have some key differences that are going to sort of help you make a decision as to which one you like more. First of all, there's the visual part um, and also the size component comparison. This one is, the bellow is a little bit bigger than the Apartamento, so it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but there's a slightly smaller footprint on the Apartamento, which may be important to you depending on your counter space. Um, the Apartamento also has the cutout side panels, so it's got those cool circles in it and you can get those panels in different colors. The bell is a little simpler when it comes to its visual design. It has pretty similar knobs in the front. It's got your level lever right here, your steam and hot water wands. It doesn't have too much um, in terms of differences in visuals uh, from other E61 machines, but it does have a really nice finish and you can get it with uh, in a couple of different colors with powder coating finish, which is also really nice. Now, when it comes to the usability of these machines, you're gonna find that the Bellow has a slightly bigger water tank, which is kind of nice. So you have uh, fewer refills. You can do more steaming and, and pulling shots before you need to refill the water reservoir. And then you're also going to find that the cup clearance is a little bit better on the Bellow. So um, if you use taller cups, you're gonna get a tiny bit more clearance there. You're also going to have uh, these control knobs that we found can be a little easier to get a grip on if you are if you have like wet hands or something like that because you're working through your drinks versus the Rocket's more um, slightly less grippy knobs here because of the pattern of the plastic on the outside of them. You're also gonna find that the drip tray on the Bellow is going to hold a little bit more liquid, so you'll have fewer trips kind of in hand with that slightly larger water reservoir. You're gonna have fewer trips back and forth with the, uh, with the drip tray to the sink to, to drain that. Um, the other thing to note is that the bellow does get just a little bit hotter. Don't want to talk in too many specifics about temperature because so much of that has to do with the conditions in the environment, but we found that the bellow gets a little bit hotter and um, it has some wiring on the inside that helps to prevent any leaks being near um, any electrical components, which the rocket is generally free of as well. So um, you should be okay either way in that respect. Um, but again, when it comes to performance, very similar. It's gonna come down to the ergonomics and which one you like the look and feel of a little bit more. The other difference between these two machines is in their interfaces. They both have uh, pressure gauges, which is really nice and can help you make sure that your espresso is, is being um, pumped the way that it should. Uh, and you get your operating range here on this machine and over here. But what's nice about the bellow in this regard is that it also has a pressure gauge that reads from the group itself. So you're gonna to get to see what the pressure is like at the group head rather than just inside the machine like you get from the Apartamento. So a little bit more feedback when it comes to the pressures on the bellow, which can be nice and help you can help you diagnose issues if you're having trouble pulling a consistent shot. So to show some of that performance, I think we're gonna to go ahead and make some drinks now. So we'll steam some milk on both of these, pull a shot, and you can see how the workflow works in action. Okay, so I've got some milk and I've got my grinder dialed in. We're using a um, Eureka Minion Note with the Bello, and then we're gonna be using a Minion Silenzio for the Apartamento. 
there's not really any reason for using the two different grinders. We're just using a couple different ones from the Minion line, but they're very similar. So uh, they'll work very consistently and pretty similarly if you use them at home. So I'm gonna try to do my milk steaming at the same time as my shot pulling. We'll see how good I am at that because I'm <laughs> not always the best at managing both of those at once. Tear on the scale here. for about 17 grams here and we're at 18 so some of that a little bit more okay that is just about all the money over tamp And I am going to use the scale to time and weigh my shots as we go. These two machines don't have built-in shot timers, um, which means that it's good to have a timer handy or uh, a scale like the Akaya Lunar that can help do that for you. All right, so I'm gonna get my steam going here. Make sure we got steam. Yep, looks good. And we're going to hit the timer and hit the, uh, the, the, the brewer at the same time. So... Got my milk. This is going to be a bit of a longer shot, but it should still be good. And let's go ahead and purge the steam wand here. And I'm going to go ahead and pour my shot first. And then pour my milk. It's not going to be super pretty, but it should be tasty. Okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And it turned out really great as well. So super fast to make that drink. Um, the whole process was like maybe a minute and a half. So um, really awesome to work with both of these machines because they can give you that like real sort of prosumer feel. You can get your drinks made pretty quick uh, and they come out really delicious. So let's go ahead and reset, and then we will make a similar drink on the Apartamento. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get our drink made on the Apartamento. Get that teared out. Um, another minor difference with these two machines is that the uh, portafilters are actually a little deeper or taller on the Apartamento, so you can get a slightly, um, it's a little easier to work with when you're filling the coffee. About perfect. Get this one tamped. So we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to try to brew and steam at the same time here. So I've got my scale set up for this shot pitcher. 
Make sure I've got it lined up. All right. So I'm gonna do my, hit my scale, uh, hit the lever and start the brew. Let me make sure I've got steam. Yep, sure do. Right. Alright, okay. and once again, we got a bit of a long shot, but that is going to be just fine in our drink. Stop the timer. That. Hey, and there's a heart or a bay. Uh, Blob. <laughs> yep, that one is uh, very tasty as well. So we got two uh, very good lattes here made by two, again, performance-wise, very similar machines. It's really just going to come out, come down to which workflow you like better. So, um, and again, also the, the like, visual differences on the rocket, the, uh, the footprints differences, um, really are going to be the deciding factors for you as to which one of these machines you're going to enjoy more. I hope that you enjoyed this video and this look at these two really great heat exchanger machines and um, make sure you get subscribed so you can get more rocket content, more Diletta content. We've got plenty more coming in the very near future and feel free to drop any questions below. Thanks so much. Okay.